Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Hope that you had a really good day. I am, um, as you can see, I'm here hanging out with Ryder in my little she den. And um, I'm here because I promised you that I would show you some of my um, new items. My second sample order had come in and I've been meaning to show you the pieces. So I'll start with the earrings that I have on and maybe I'll bring this closer. I look like a total hag right now. I have, um, I'm tired, I'm really tired. Um, but okay, let's start with the, uh, what are these called? The, not the, yeah, the Cocos. These are called the Cocos. So these are Tiffany inspired. Hi, Sean. Thanks for watching. So I'll take them off. They're so cool. They're, they're, everything is prettier in person than on the website, but I've already told you that, right? So look at how these are actually like a hoop. Uh, so your silhouette will have that nice cutout, but then when you put them on, they're this beautiful, shiny, like gold ball. So I've got these in gold. And I, I hope the, the quality shows up in the video of the gold. It's a really pretty gold color, very shiny. And these come in silver, hematite, and rose gold as well. So you can take your pick. So these are the, what did I say they were called? The Cocos, the Cocos. I'm really, really happy with them. Okay, next, I'm also really happy with the Jolines. Look at how pretty the Jolines are. They are so cool. So do you see these little gold beads? They're shiny and they're, they're kind of beveled. There's some texture to them. So they really catch the light. And then the black beads are really beveled and really pretty and stand out. So for those of you who like hoops, um, I think you'll be happy with them, especially if you like gold. And I've always liked gold uh, and black mixed in together. So they pack a really pretty pop. So again, I'll try to bring my camera closer. Just don't look at my freckles, my freaking age spots that show up on the camera, but let's just focus on the earrings. So the beads do move. Sean is asking if the beads move freely. They do move freely. They are feather weight. Um, and yeah, look at very pretty. So I know, um, so I'm going to be having a little in-house event for um, Alyssa, my daughter Alyssa's uh, salon ladies, her, the, the stylists, the hairdressers are coming. And I know a lot of them love hoops. So uh, in particular, I'm thinking that they're gonna be really happy when they see these. I'm really happy when I see everything in person. Like, you know, it's one thing to see the images on the website. So these are the Jolines. They've got some really pretty sparkle. Um, and they only come in gold, okay? So if you're a silver lover, don't blame me. Um, but these babies are our Jolons. So they're on a wire. Like, do you see how it's flex stretchy? It moves. <laughs> uh, the beads do move a little bit around. And uh, they're, they're featherweight. So they're a statement earring, but they are featherweight. Okay, what's the next? Ooh! Okay, these babies. So this is that Southwest trend that's really popular right now. Those of you who watch Yellowstone or watched all the Yellowstone series. So these, excuse me, are the Dutton hoops. Again, they look like they would be heavy, but they're not. Um, now my friend Karen, I was just with my girl friend Karen yesterday. And when she saw these, she got really excited and she goes, oh my God, Sherry, those are so Tory Burch. Do any of you know Tory Burch? Tory Burch is a high-end fashion designer. She sells 
I mean, you have outlets. Like I know here in Ottawa, we have the Ter Tory Birch store. I'm not sure if you're in Winnipeg, if you have a Tory Birch store, but basically, as I said, Tori Birch is a really high-end fashion designer. And she, I swear to God, if Karen didn't show me the picture, I would have said, yeah, right, Karen. She doesn't have sandals that have these exact little beads on them. They do. And they're called the Capri sandals. So when Karen, who likes to travel... Um, goes to Greece or wherever, Puerto Vallarta, she could be rocking these pretty Dutton hoops with her Tory Burch Capri sandals and the beads will match. Like that's just so cool. So yeah, these are the Duttons and you know that they're not heavy because I've got aged earlobes, ladies, and these are not pulling my earlobes down. So what do you think? Cute? So cute, so lightweight. Dutton, Southwest Trend, Coco, right, Sean? Are these the Coco? Am I right when I say these are the Coco? Also a cute hoop, but they just look like big shiny balls. And I like some big shiny balls. These are both so freaking rich looking. Like Karen's eyeballs went boing, boing when she saw both of them and she tried them on for me. And I was like, oh my God, is that how they look on me? Because they look so good on you, Karen. There's Ryder. Say hi to Ryder. Ryder, say hi. Hi, Ry Ry. Okay, back to business. Pretty, pretty hoops. So these hoops, awesome. So then if there are some of you out there who are like, Sherry, I'm a stud girl. I'm not gonna be into the big hoops and I'm gonna be like, take a risk, take a chance, try a hoop. And if you just start, if you're a hoop virgin, then what I would recommend is checking out our Twizzlers, which are a very delicate, dainty hoop that I think are a great transition for those of you who are transitioning from a stud trying a hoop and feeling a little nervous about wearing a hoop if you just think you're nervous and can't wear a hoop but i personally think you could rock a hoop okay oh and you know what else is amazing with the duttons the willow bracelets so these are the beautiful willow stretch bracelets. Look at the gold, see how it pairs well. Like it's not, so the, the beads on here are like these gilded beads, like a gilded cage, like a gilded bird cage. Okay, so the willows don't have the exact same bead, but do you see how they have this beautiful like gold foil? They're so pretty. And you can wear them separately, obviously, right? layer them up with other beaded bracelets or bangles that you have or pair them all together. Again, I had Karen model them for me and I was having FOMO and then I was like, wait a second, they're mine. Why am I having FOMO? Those are mine. And they just look so gorgeous. And if you like, um, if you like fidgeting, like I have, I have a lot of anxiety. I run high with anxiety. I like to fidget. I love playing with my jewelry. And listen, it's like I'm a, like a DJ. Anyway, they're just so stinking cute. So pretty, really pretty pack a punch. Okay, some new pieces on my wrist. The jewel bangle is not new. I've told you before, this was the first item that I put in my cart. This is Karchi inspired. It, I had my friend Rach, uh, Rochelle was over today and she's like, oh my God, Sherry, it's so much prettier in person. It looks so rich on the website. The gold just doesn't look as beautiful as it looks in person. Like that really is a high quality looking gold. This does look like real, like real gold, real diamonds, and they're beautiful crystals. So if you're not a gold girl, this comes in four metals. It comes in silver, it comes in hematite, and it comes in rose gold. And if you're not sure what hematite is, hematite is the black metal. Where are my... I don't know where they are. Oh, here they are. Hematite is the black metal. 
These are the almond earrings. I've shown them to you before, I believe. These almond earrings are a great versatile hoop, right? Because it's a front-facing hoop, but it doesn't have a uh, it doesn't have a shepherd's hook, right? It has a post, and it comes in the four metals as well. And look at the beveling on the metal, so that packs a nice little sparkle. And these come in rose gold, gold, hematite, and silver. So the jewel bangle, I actually also have it coming in hematite because I just love it so much. It's just so pretty. Okay, marshmallow stretch bracelet. So for anybody who's a sucker for white enamel, this definitely is going to impress you. The enamel is such good quality. The stones are a really pretty pink blush and it looks like a bangle, but it's a stretch bracelet. So it fits most wrists and it's such a great layering piece. Okay, can we talk about this baby? The Rika, OMG. Again, this is a sleeper. It's a sleeper on the website. You're gonna see it, you're gonna scroll right by. Don't press pause, take a close look at it. This is the gold, it comes in silver. It is so freaking adorable and listen, the texture on it, right? So it's like sculpted here. It's got these beautiful like crosses that to me is kind of like, I don't know, Chanel-esque. And it stretches, fits most wrists, and voila, I've got a fun little arm party. So these three pieces I definitely am gonna wear on the repeat. Very easy to throw on. Okay, um, let me show you a cute little pair of studs called the Cleos. They are gold with pave, and these would make a great unlocker. So you're learning like I'm learning. You put your two lowest price items in the cart. That will unlock four items at 50% off. And then when you have a $90 subtotal, you will get to choose one Lux item, one item up to $200 in value for $30. Okay, for some reason I can't get these in my ears. My nails are so stinking long, I've gotta get them cut. Okay, dun dun dun. Here we go. The Cleos, great unlockers because lady, there's ladies, lady, ladies, they're only $24. Can you see them? Is my ear clean? How cute, so pretty. So for $24, you get them in your cart and you then have one other low, lower price item in the 20, 30, $40 range and you've unlocked up to half off. So I just think these are a cute little stud, the Cleos. Um, and then if you like silver, these don't come in silver, but if you're looking for a really good stud that can be an ear locker in silver, you can use our impression studs. One more zoom, okay, yeah, because you've got yours coming tomorrow, Sean. See? They're really cute. I've actually, uh, ladies have come over and seen some of my jewels in person, and they were, they were happy with these. I mean, $24, you can't go wrong, right? And I'm, I'm going to wear them. I'm going to wear the shit out of them. Just an easy little stud that is a great unlocker. But what I was going to say is, if you're looking for another great unlocker, our Dainty. It's a sterling silver heart with pave crystals that would make a great unlocker. Okay, are you ready for the next item? The Rodeo Studs. Hi, Rochelle. I was just talking about you. Are your ears burning? So these Rodeo Studs, again, Karen saw them yesterday and she's like, they're so much nicer in person. I saw them on the website and I thought, mm, I don't know, are they tacky? Are they too big? So let me put the rodeos on. The rodeos would be back to our Southwest trend. Okay, so I'm going really close. Dun, dun, so pretty. Okay, so I put them on. They are obviously are very lightweight. I love the Papa Pave. You'll see the scale once I put them in my little earlobes. And you can choose your metal. 
You can get them in gold. You can get them in silver. You can get them in hematite or you can get them in rose gold. Cute, stinking cute. They're cute. And you wanna see how cute I am? I found this little gem. It's a little freshwater pearl bracelet that has a toggle and look what's on the toggle. This really cute pave star. Come on. So then I can be, I can layer it on, right? And I got my cute little star and I'm just like, wow, I'm just rocking it. I'm totally planning it all. So cute. This is, I don't remember what the heck this is called, but I was looking for a, per, a little pearl bracelet because you know you've seen the Brinley before and you like the Brinley. Some of you have it in your carts. Some of you have it on your wish list. That's our freshwater pearl necklace. That's just a great price point for freshwater pearls. These are genuine freshwater pearls and it's $40 which you could use as an unlocker or you could get it for $20. So again, just a really pretty everyday piece. And then I thought, well, I want to find a little pearl bracelet to go with it. And I'm just so excited with this. And then I was so excited how, oh my gosh, it kind of pairs with the rodeos. So cool. Okay, next pair of earrings. They do not disappoint at all. None of, none of the jewelry does. Like, honestly, I get so excited. I, I get so excited about how excited I am about the quality of Park Lane. These are the Collins. They come in white, they come in gray, or they come in black. I told you I'm obsessed with white, like the white enamel and the marshmallow bracelet. I love white in jewelry. So let's put these babies on. And you're like, <gasps> they're huge. Nope, wait for it. You just wait for it and you will see how you will put, okay, good luck. So when I keep putting earrings on and off, I tend to get my ears saying, would you stop torturing me? And then it gets harder to put them in. So let me see. Yeah, right. Urgh. Come on, I know you're there. Urgh. You're not a virgin earlobe. Okay, there we go. So, ta-da, ta-da. Okay, I'm gonna go in close. You're gonna see the freckles. Hopefully my earlobes are clean. Can you see? Is it, is it, yes, yes. Pretty, so pretty. And they're like feathers. You don't even feel them in your ears. Right, Rochelle? You love white, I know you do. White hearts, Sean, yes. You're going to have a little bit of FOMO, Sean. You're going to feel like I need those. These would just, you know who also would look amazing in these, Sean, is uh, your beautiful sister-in-law, Charlene. I could totally see her wearing these. Like just her dark hair, her darker complexion, just like she would just freaking rock these white Collins. Uh, Rochelle was going to get them in black and then she saw them today in the white and she's like, mm, now I think I want them in white because then she saw the Jolines with the black and gold and was like, ooh, I could do the hoops in the black and gold and I could get the Collins in the white. Char would look amazing on these, right? Am I right, Sean? Like, I'm just thinking these are a Charlene earring. I really see her wearing these. And yes, these would look great in like Mexico. Sean's going to Puerto Vallarta soon. <laughs> we don't really like Sean very much going to Puerto Vallarta and uh, stuck in Ottawa. Anyway, um, these would be so great with like a sarong, with a sundress cute little sandals walking on the beach. Okay, um, I think I have one more item to show, wait, do I have one more? I've got, maybe I've got two more. Well, okay, I might've shown these. I honestly, I don't know my, my, my ass from my, my armpits right now. It's been a, it's been a weekend. Um, so I can't remember if I showed these to you the other night, but these are, 
also a southwest trend. So southwest trend represents, these are called our Wranglers, and I am so happy that I got them in silver. They also come in gold, but you can see I got a lot of gold, right? Gold's representing, right? Gold is representing. So it was like, girl, you know what? You're gonna get a big ass hoop. You're gonna get a big ass hoop in silver and you're gonna rock it. Anyway, let me just tell you, my female students loved these big ass hoops. They're like, miss, I love your big ass hoops. They're awesome. They're so cool, miss. Look at those big ass hoops. So again, they're big, but they do not feel heavy at all. Thank you, Park Lane Design Team, for designing beautiful statement earrings that don't pull my aged earlobes down to my waistline. <laughs> oh, oh, and she snorts, and she snorts, laughing and snorting. Hi, Karen. Say hi to John. Is John there? Okay. So yeah, Southwest Trend, these are the Wranglers. <laughs> they come in the, the silver that I have, I, and the silver's really shiny, um, really pretty. So um, I'm really happy I didn't get them in gold. And you know what? Karen was just saying to me the other day, she was, Sherry, like, you're looking good in the silver. I think, I think honestly, like, I think most of us can wear all the metals. I do believe it's true that some of us look better in certain metals. Um, I might be one of those people that I'm neutral and it's okay whichever metal I wear. Um, but what I do know, what I do know is there are certain colors that I prefer to wear depending on what metal I'm wearing. So for example, I find like a pink and silver looks so awesome. And I already told you, it reminds me of the 80s when we would wear a lot of pink and gray. I also find I love navy and I love like uh, blues, like navy blues and blues with, um, say hi to Mike, Bryn, and Isaiah. Oh, Jesus, you're eating and watching me. I'm so sorry, Mike, Bryn, <laughs> Isaiah. Oh, it's hilarious. Okay, hello, Michael. Christmas wish list for Jonathan. Uh, Isaiah, take some notes on what Bryn likes. So yeah, uh, these are the Wranglers and I'm so happy that I got them in silver. Okay, so I think there's one more piece. Let's just, I'll, I'll turn the camera on Ryder. Ryder will entertain you while I find my last piece I wanna show you. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I can't remember ladies. Did I show you this necklace before? What's it called again? It's called, shoot, I'm totally having brain farts tonight. This, it's an S word. Sean, what's this called? The, frick, I seriously cannot remember what this necklace is called. Doesn't matter. It comes in three necklaces in one. And ladies, you're going to love wearing one necklace at a time to Starla. Thank you, Sean. Okay, Sean. So again, I'm thinking of you and Karen on your tropical holidays wearing this kinetic piece to the Starla. Look at it. Look at how it moves, right? The little pieces jingle and jangle and move. How pretty would that be poolside with a bathing suit on? Love that piece. Love those two together. Love the paperclip chain is very trendy. I would love that on its own. Very nice. And this piece would also, okay, I've turned it around. On the Starla, this luxe piece here, that would also look really cool all on its own. But I actually wore this to work the other day and my vice principal may or may not have been checking the Starla out, okay? I could see it. I could see it in her eyes. It was a quick little glance and stare, and she was like, wow, that's like a pretty necklace. So um, it's got really nice pave crystals. There's lots of sparkle. 
I've said it before, I'm not shitting with you. The quality of the Pave crystals that Park Lane uses are, are amazing. Like they are not dull at all. There's no dullness. And again, look at the shine in the gold. Can you see the shine on the gold? It's just such a rich gold. Okay, that's the Sterla. All right, where are you at in your dinner, Mike, Bryn, and Isaiah? Uh, Isaiah, are you on your third course, your fourth course? Karen, he said, what did she say? <laughs> what, John? Is, when I accidentally um, burped or whatever, um, saying hi to him. Okay, gotta run. You're in middle-ish of your dinner, awesome. Oh, for dinner tonight, Alyssa and one of her good friends, they're just such sweet, sweet kids, like with all their friend groups. So one of their friends just had a birthday. So Alyssa and her other friend, Daria, wanted to treat this birthday girl, Maddie. So Alyssa and Daria went grocery shopping. Then they came back to our house. They made from scratch, beautiful chicken Parmesan with linguine, fresh basil, fresh mozzarella. Then they also baked from scratch a birthday cake. Then they went down in the basement and they decorated, it's like, throw up birthday decorations all over the basement and they surprised this girl she didn't even know she just knew she was coming over like to visit with them she didn't know that they had done this for her and she was so excited so that's kind of cool so that that little party is wrapping up all right Mwah. ciao love y'all bye